Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. A couple of years before starting this channel, a seemingly major discovery was made at the Great Pyramid. In October 2015, an international team of researchers working as part of the Scan Pyramids project started scanning the Egyptian pyramids using the latest thermal technology. They discovered mysterious heat spots across the pyramids, including one large patch on the Great Pyramid. Different materials and substances, such as air and rock, hold heat differently, and so thermal anomalies could be signs of voids, maybe just natural bedrock fissures and cavities, but possibly secret chambers and passageways. The thermal scan showed there are a number of temperature changes across the pyramids, and the most impressive one was noted at ground level on the eastern side of the Great Pyramid. At the end of 2015, Egyptian authorities held a huge press conference in front of the thermal anomaly at the pyramid, and there were promises that this discovery would pave the way for new groundbreaking research into the study of ancient Egypt. Interestingly, experts said there was something like a small passage in the ground that you can see leading up towards the pyramid, reaching the area with a the thermal anomaly, indicating it could be concealing an entrance into the pyramid. The scanning was done throughout the day, so researchers could monitor the temperature changes as the pyramids heated up with sunrise and then cooled down at sunset. Each block that makes up the pyramids does have a slightly different temperature. But by monitoring the speed of this heating and cooling, the researchers were able to isolate several persistent anomalies. The difference in temperature between adjacent limestone blocks varied only by 0.1 to 0.5 degrees Celsius, but the anomaly on the eastern side of the Great Pyramid was 6 degrees warmer than the blocks surrounding it. Talking to the media six years ago, the Minister of Antiquities, Mamdou Eldamati, said that these blocks were different in formation and that a similar situation was also noted in the middle of the eastern side of the pyramid. So, that's the background, and as stated, it made headlines around the world in 2015, but sadly, it looks as though no specific work has been done since. Could it be indicating a man-made passageway, a possible new entrance into the pyramid? Well, that's actually not impossible, especially if the hypothesis by architect Jean-Pierre Houdin is correct, that there is an internal ramp circling the pyramid just behind the outer layers of masonry. The anomaly could be an entrance into this ramp, which he believes was used in the pyramid's construction. His ideas do have credibility as well, because such an internal ramp was possibly identified with a microgravimetry scan of the pyramid. There is also this cavity on the outside edge of the Great Pyramid, and this was explored a number of years ago by Egyptologist Bob Breyer, and this also fits with Houdan's internal ramp model. Looking at these diagrams, which have the microgravimetry scans superimposed onto the pyramid, and the eastern side is where we find the lowest part of the ramp. It is where the ramp is seemingly at ground level. So, the 6 degree thermal anomaly on the eastern side could be some entrance into it, even though the larger thermal scan shows the actual main entrance is likely to be on the south side. Either way, if Houdan is correct, the entire eastern side could be hiding the lowest part of the ramp, and so this anomaly could be leading into it. But not everyone opts for an exciting interpretation of the data, and we do have to entertain a mundane explanation. The Giza Plateau is heavily fractured, with ancient faults and fissures running through the limestone bedrock. The fault system of the Giza Plateau runs north-northeast to south-southwest, and here we can see one such natural fissure running towards the Great Pyramid. From a geological point of view, these fissures must continue through the bedrock beneath the pyramid. Now, the thermal anomaly is seen in blocks in the bottom two courses at the base of the eastern side of the pyramid, and these two courses apparently also sit directly on bedrock bedrock that is heavily fractured in various places in the vicinity of the pyramid. So, the anomaly could be highlighting the fractured bedrock, and this would explain the very localised thermal anomaly. 
but I don't know. The masonry at this specific point on the pyramid, with two relatively thin stones on the second course, really does stand out. It does look odd, and I do think it could be some kind of worker's entrance from the days when the pyramid was constructed, being man-made but functional. This discovery was made in 2015, but in the two years that followed, the Scan Pyramids project also found another void behind the chevrons on the northern side of the pyramid, and then an even larger void above the Grand Gallery. These voids, found through the detection of cosmic ray muons, overshadowed the earlier discovery, and so we haven't learned anything else since. But I think that this thermal anomaly does deserve closer attention. It needs a fresh perspective. And so, as I finished writing this video, I went back to the news reports from 2015 and reread the quotes by Elder Matty about the so-called passage in front of the pyramid that leads towards the anomaly. Looking at photographs of this region, and this passage could pass for a natural fissure or fracture in the limestone bedrock, and we know they do cover the Giza Plateau. And, as he explains on his website, this is also the belief of Zahi Hawass. But when you look at Street View on Google Earth, it shows that this line is not a fissure. It's actually paved, and this paved area leads directly towards the anomaly. Looking at the fabulous Air Pano aerial photographs, which give an interactive view of the Giza Plateau, I zoomed out to trace the paved linear feature further. Well, it cuts across the boat pit, and then heads directly towards one of the openings of the trial passages. Strange, yes, but maybe it's just a coincidence. But when I looked at the entire eastern side of the Great Pyramid, there are more linear features extending from the pyramid. They are all roughly oriented in the same direction, so they could be part of one fault system. But I also noted that they are not actually all parallel, so are these features actually natural fissures or something else? Imagine being the architect of the Great Pyramid, the single greatest structure in the history of mankind, and choosing the location for your brave project. Would you really build such a colossal structure on top of at least 10 fissures running into and below its eastern edge? Logic says no. In fact, you might do everything to avoid it. The other linear features are not paved, they do look like cracks or cut lines in the bedrock, but I then made another incredible observation. Move south along the eastern edge of the Great Pyramid, and the next linear feature extends from the pyramid, across the boat pit once again, and directly into the other opening of the trial passages. Keep going south, and the next line terminates in the Khufu boat pit on the causeway, just in front of his funerary temple. The next line then terminates at the opening of the tomb of Khufu's mother Heta Perez. The next two lines mark the northern and southern edges of this pit-like feature, and then continue towards the northwestern corner of the first satellite pyramid. The next line runs across the edge of the boat pit, and continues on to the southwestern corner of the same satellite pyramid. The next line points directly towards the entrance of the second satellite pyramid. To me, these linear features don't actually look like natural fissures because on top of the fact they're not all parallel, some of them actually bend very specifically. In my opinion, what we could be looking at are guidelines, maybe when planning out the plateau. I don't know, what do you think? There are two specific missing bodies at the Great Pyramid, Khufu and his mother. Heta Perez, the wife of Sneferu, did have a canopic chest complete with organic remains, as well as a sealed alabaster sarcophagus and grave goods inside her burial pit. But, as I showed in a previous video, there's no body. Khufu's body has also never been discovered as we know. Well, following the guidelines from the tomb of the Queen Mother, as well as the Causeway Royal Boat Pit, and the linear features point to this region of the Great Pyramid just to the south of the Thermal Anomaly. Therefore, is this section of the Great Pyramid actually hiding something of incredible importance, the Lost Royal Mummies of the Fourth Dynasty? Is the Thermal Anomaly the doorway inside, hidden from plain sight to stop grave robbers, but marked with a very specific pathway, a pathway that could have been covered up after the Royal Mummies were laid to rest? 
I have no doubt the Great Pyramid of Egypt still conceals a number of secrets and I just hope that in the coming years we'll be able to see inside all of the mysterious voids and learn more about the finer workings of this truly magnificent feat of ancient engineering. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.